Hey, I'm Ray McNulty, president of the National Dropout Prevention Center and SPN. And I'm just going to have a conversation right now with my dear friend, right, Dr. Hickman. And um, this, this kind guy has been doing some amazing work in Mississippi. He's going to talk to us about it. We're going to have a little conversation. So, kind of, uh, you know, really fill me in on what's going on in your district and what are the things that you're doing to really help help kids to achieve the goal of being graduate. Well, may I help? May I use a backstory? You can use all the stories you like, <laughs> big guy. Well, um, in 2020, well, actually 2019, the individual who's the superintendent and I had discussed if he becomes the superintendent, I will come work with him. 2020, um, it, he became the superintendent. So in February of 2020, we I up. became the super, assistant superintendent. We love that. But something happened in March of 2020. Yeah, it did. <laughs> And when that happened, there was a lot of things we had to we had to do. But here was the thing that would would excite me. He said, "We will not do things the way they've been done." He said, "We will be innovative because what's been done in this particular district has not worked." We went into a very very poverty stricken, very, very rural district, less than one thousand students pre K through twelve, and it was an F district in, yep. in Mississippi. We're able to move it since then to be two. We are well two steps right now, but we're and, and climbing. But for the most part, here. But that's we, during the pandemic. You moved up two steps. Correct, sir. Yes, sir. That's kind of like uh, you know hitting a home hitting a home run with the bases loaded when you're down by three. That's a big hit. Pretty big hit, big poppy. That's, that's a big one. <laughs> so, in, in the way we were able to do it is that we put the children's mental wellness ahead of scores. Yeah, we know yeah, that's it. That's it. That's interesting and exciting. You know, a lot of a lot of people argue with schools these days about that. And uh, I think what what they need to understand is that we know in the schools that, you know, like if you if you're not if your head's not in the right place, if your heart's not in the right place, you're not going to learn. Well, they argue until something happens. That's right. right. Uh, yeah. uh, they, they, they are. They argue until there's a significant event. Yeah. And I'm not going to speak on those today, but right. what I am going to say is these significant events are starting to happen consistently and all over, all over the world, not just the country, all over the world. Yep. And they're happening in schools. And this is a problem that we need to address. Mm -hmm. So what we did at Kemper County was we put the children's mental wellness first. Need a system. I said, I got one. And he said, well, can you, can you do what they, I said, I'm a specialist. At least I, I'm almost a specialist. You are a specialist. <laughs> so I had, but I had to do my, um, you had, had to do your work. I had to do the work. Certification I work. Yeah, work. I got you. And so one of the things was to implement a plan. Bam. So by doing, implementing the plan that helped the students that made the success that we have right now, I was able to get the specialist certification. Right. Uh, Nancy is so gracious and so helpful because yep. she did it over Zoom. Yep. In this very, very rural area over Zoom, she worked with us, with us. And what happened is this. We have a, we've developed something called the Success School. Now, people I like that. People still like to call it an alternative school. I've never liked that term. Yo, know, I'm with you. I don't like the word alternative because alternative means that there must be some school for everybody and then there's an alternative. That's not true. There's different schools for all kinds of people. It's it's a school that works. That's what I like to talk about, schools that work. Well, yeah. what, we, what we did, we divided the success school into an academic and behavior modification. What a great so, idea. So if a student did something outside of behavior that will keep them in, and, I, and this is another term I'm crazy about, but I'm working on it. Y'all can maybe help me with this. Yeah. <laughs> that puts them out of the general population right then what we do is we play them and place them in behavior modification and over a certain time we modify the behavior yeah but while they're there we show them what success looks like we let them feel success we want them to be successful and what we say is this is what success looks like now make sure you don't do whatever that behavior is that brought you over here the first time yeah. and that's kind of like that's kind of way, the way we operate okay. and we did that with the building resilience so, so you you got engaged in I, I in the trauma skilled school work that yes. you've been doing. Yes, and um, and that led. Oh, y'all let me be a dropout prevention specialist though. Seven years ago. Yeah, I know you're a dropout prevention <laughs> specialist. <laughs> I was like, 
but but I but I also you know one of the key things about this work is that you know when we've been doing the dropout prevention specialist work, we talk about what are the best strategies for getting kids to achieve graduation. And then um, for those that don't understand the work, um, we've also found out that there's additional stresses and strains on yes. the system. And so outside of that scope, we uh, we developed a plan, a program called Trauma Skills yes. School. There's a lot of uh, schools out there that there's in trainings that you can have trauma informed and that's a, to us that means well we tell you about it and then uh, but what we want to do is we want to provide a skill yes. for the people so our our plan is trauma skilled schools work where we have people that actually understand the work and the impact and they implement some work it we're not turning people into psychologists or psychiatrists all we're doing is getting people to be aware of the triggers and the things that cause children to spiral out of control I, I, as, and that's exactly the way we approached it we did not want to celebrate the trauma. It wasn't about identifying exactly. the trauma. It was about working to help with the resiliency yes. factor of the trauma. And sometimes, in, in some cases, children may not be as traumatic or have been or as traumatized as other children. But mm, with children these days, I would say 100% with COVID. But yeah. Yeah. if what we deal with our culture, and by the way, we'll be using uh, doctor, like notice. <laughs> we were using Ray's description of culture and climate in my presentation in about 20 minutes. <laughs> so what we did with the culture is we made it, we, we did it mandatory where the teachers must, must take a mental wellness inventory of the child before they start school. In the success school, we tell the students this, do not do any work until you feel like it. And what has happened is, I have the data to show, which I'll discuss in 20 minutes. Um, it, it's been, it's fantastic. These yeah. kids are excited. We have kids that have done, have done better than anyone's ever heard before. Uh, it's just, and it's like, I'm excited for them, but I'm not surprised because you guys taught us how to do this. Well, so we appreciate it. Yeah, and I think um, we appreciate that, but we also know that, um, you know, people can get knowledge all the time but they've got to apply it. Yes. And what's really important about the work going on, the work that, that Dr. Hickman's been doing, is they're taking knowledge and they're applying it. And that's part of the training that goes, they go through as they, go, as they become trauma-skilled schools and as they become uh, graduation specialists. Yes. You know, we don't want people to just say, I know that stuff. We want people to say, I've implemented that stuff. Right. I know how it works. And you know, I'm so thankful that we have educators like you yes. who put the child's interest first. Yes. Each individual one, you know, and I, I mean, we we have we have a good sense that every different every child we have. Just think of the kids that were out there during COVID, that were in a home and they had to stay home in a home that was a challenging place to begin with. Now they had to stay in it during the entire period Correct. of the of the quarantine. Correct. And uh, you know that hasn't made education easier, but the bringing our kids back is a great connection going on now. I think the great work you're doing. It's just amazing, and uh, I just want to thank you for doing great stuff. Absolutely. So, folks, if you're at all interested, just click on um, the links that we provide to get to learn more about being a trauma skilled school, about, about being certified as a graduation specialist, just like my buddy right here. Thanks so much. It's always great being with you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.